make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Let he place his There have been times when Christians have not only been marginalized, but persecuted and even martyred. One of the most notorious persecutions came under the Roman Emperor Diocletian. Many people died. And there was a young lady named Lucia. She died for the faith at Syracuse in the island of Sicily in A.D. 304. She was known for her charitable work. She gave away her dowry and remained a virgin until her execution. And so she is one of those early martyrs of the church that we remember for their faithfulness. And their faithfulness came not because of their strength, but because of the strength of Christ through the Holy Spirit's faith. And probably we're not going to face martyrdom, But there are times when we can be marginalized and we do look to people like Lucia, who was used by Christ for the proclamation of the gospel, and we find great comfort in that. Her name, Lucia, means light, and so we can't help but think about Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. And maybe you've never heard of St. Lucy, Lucia, but if you have a Scandinavian background, maybe you have, because the Festival of Light on her day in December, was very meaningful to those people very far up in the Northern Hemisphere during this time when darkness reigned in a time where electricity was not common or not even invented yet, or the harnessing of those lights in the middle of those dark December days. And so Scandinavian people, they all know St. Lucy, because of her name meaning light, even though she was from Italy. And the connection there is Christ is the light. Christ is the light of the world. Light exposes, it exposes our sin. We are seen for who we are, that is desperate sinners. We are groping around in the darkness looking for truth and hope. And here comes Christ, who is the light of the world, who exposes our sin in the light but also exposes himself as our Savior, and so we have hope. And so we cannot help but think about John's word at the beginning of his gospel. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. You may have dark days, including these literal dark days in those winter months in the northern hemisphere. But remember Christ is the true light, who gives you hope, who gives you eternity, who shows you the truth. And the truth is this, that no matter what happens to you, even if you face martyrdom like St. Lucia, that you have life, and that life is the light that shows us the truth, the truth of the gospel, that everything is all right in the blood of Christ. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you.
God, you have called your servants to ventures of faith of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Speak to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. 